Good morning and welcome to Gearock Farms. Uh, we just finished up with morning chores and in today's video we're going to be working with the cattle to start off with. We're going to be using a treatment called Epernex on them which is a, a liquid treatment that goes along their back. We can explain more later in the video. We got to grab some uh, pails of grain to get these guys to all stay lined up really nice for us so give them a little bit of incentive to stay at the bunk or in the manger. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Well, the little hand pump for the treatment broke on us and we don't have a spare one here so uh, that uh, that's delayed for a while but that's not the end of the world it doesn't need to get done exactly today but that's part of farming things don't ever go to plan silver lining uh, for the cattle they got some uh, dr extra dry grain and they're gonna get silage today too so uh, it's a win-win for them they're all very happy We'll just have to get a new pump the next time we go to town and uh, finish that. I gotta clean up the mangers in this barn behind me. Obviously our other uh, big barn, the mangers are already clean. So uh, my father, he headed down to the trench to open up the pile and uh, get that working. And I'll meet him down there with the uh, 7405 and the dump wagon so we can start bringing feet up here.
those cattle are fed. This barn makes it a lot easier when it comes to these days where we have to move a lot of silage. The old barn, the manger used to only be like 50% of it was exposed to outside. So you had to shovel a lot of feed in to the cattle where this building is all exposed. It is so much nicer. It's nice with this barn because you can back like halfway in there and get the feed right in the middle of the barn. And these are the younger cattle too, so you're not really moving that much feed anyways. So you can get it pretty close to all of them without uh, too much shoveling. And I know what a lot of you cattle guys are thinking, well, why don't you just have a TMR? That's why that new cattle barn is built the way it is, is where if you really wanted to, you could purchase a TMR and run that way. But this dump trailer is working for us and uh, it's cheap, we already have it, so. And uh, for those of you that are curious about what product we were using in the beginning of the video, that's uh, called Epernex. That-'s an anti-like uh, bug treatment. But that's what that product is for, in case anyone was wondering. saying it's really nice having an open-faced uh, manger like this it makes it really easy and nice for feeding cattle all right we're done feeding silage and it's time to bring the dairy herd back into the barn they've been out for recess for a while now yep
got the cows in, and uh, my dad, he wants to take some time and show you guys how he grooms up his, uh, his milking herd. I mean, it's already December. They start to, some of the cows aren't trained as well, the crap in the gutter, so they're, they're getting a little dirtier. But what we like to do is we'll take one of these combs and scrape all the big manure off the tail. Then I'll come back with a clipper and just clip the tail. If the hair is short, like you look at her, that's just winter hair. They don't need that when they're in the barn most of the time. We just get the big manure out, and then sometimes this ends up being like this long, so we'll just take a big knife and cut off just the, some of it, the, give them like a haircut, really. And some get dirtier than others, some are just, I guess they're just like, like people. Some are better at grooming than others. So anyway, we're gonna clean them up and cut the hair, long hair off the tails, and the tail head a little bit, which is right here, that's where a lot of the lice like stuff harbor and then we're gonna Efronex them. Sometimes it takes me a few days, I just do some every day. And I like these combs I got. They kind of got longer teeth on one side, shorter on the other, so we can pull it and turn it. And then like for the udder, we use the shorter. And we try to be a little more gentle, but because the hair on the udder is usually a little shorter. Try to get some of it off. And it's just like anything, they just feel a little better. In the summer when they're grazing, they're outside, the hair is very short. You can't even grab it, it's so short. You wouldn't think, but then it doesn't attract any manure. And of course they're outside in the weather, they get the rain and the wind and all that. And so then they get outside here a couple hours every day. There's maybe two days out of this whole winter that we may not put them out because the weather is just so nasty. But I mean, if I was in a stall like this, I'd want to get out of these fronts today so they can scratch themselves and lick themselves and rub on whatever they may find if they need to. It's kind of a dirty job, but it makes it a lot nicer milking these cows when the tail is clean. Because that's the part that usually gets you. <laughs> and it's usually around December, January we start doing this. And before that, they're usually pretty clean. For some reason, the Swiss, they got a thicker, longer tail. And they don't know how to use it. Sometimes when you're milking them, milking, they'll wrap it almost right around your neck, just as if they're trying to agitate you. Or it's just their nature, it's all it is. But if you look at the tail head, compared to a Holstein, there's a little bit less of a tail head there than here. And they like to get scratched up. Kind of like scratching a dog behind the ears. That's certain spots they can't reach themselves. And I'll do it as soon as we put them in the barn. They're all standing up. They're already eating their hay. They're not, I don't have to be trying to agitate them after they've started resting. Because any good dairy farmer will do whatever he can to keep these cows comfortable and fed well. And I've heard it said many times by people that are in the business, that these cattle are taken better care of better than the people. I mean, we feed them before we feed our own family. It just makes me feel better when you're doing what you can do, and we sleep better at night when we know we've done what we're supposed to do with these cattle. Keep these cows comfortable. See, now this is a first calf heifer. She had her calf like a week ago. And you see how long her tail is. And we're gonna get a big knife and trim it a little bit. And I'll feel where the bone is, so I don't want to hit that. And it's a very coarse hair. It actually dulls your knife very fast. Sometimes I'll have to go sharpen three, four times to do the whole herd like that. But anyway, so we're even beauticians. They don't need all that right now. That, that's more for swatting insects in the summer months, which there's none of those out here now that it's been so cold. about five to ten minutes. Like a human makes a world of difference.
this stuff on the flanks. This is what we call the flank. And that, when these cows start grazing in the spring and it gets warm, typically the first days when it starts 75, 80 degrees, the grass really takes off. They start to lose this long winter hair practically overnight. Put them out on pasture, you give it a week and it's almost all gone. It's amazing how it all comes off. But that's natural, they shed that hair. And then maybe a few good rainstorms and they look about as shiny as they can get. Like this cow, her hair is really long. She just had a calf like a week ago, being outside in nature, even though it wouldn't have been that cold a week or two ago yet. Nature says they need to put their winter hair on. So when they're in the barn, where it's not so cold more most of the time anyway, they won't, the hair won't get quite as long. Years ago when I was a kid, it was actually a, a it was a, a law or a rule. If you sold milk, you had to comb all your cows and clip their clip the long hair off their tails. It was a requirement to have that done. The state milk inspector would come during the winter months to inspect. They don't do that anymore because of all the cold housing. The free stall barns are just pole sheds with curtains on the side. And, and even though it isn't bitter cold in there, it's winter inside the building. The manure will freeze to the floor. So the cows need their long hair, which cattle do better in cold weather. Cows like cooler weather or colder weather or more wintry weather than they would hot, muggy, humid summer weather. They will produce milk better and, and the milk production will be the gauge. The better they feel, the more they will produce. And they're in the cool weather, they got better appetites. They'll eat a lot more, which those two things go hand in hand. The more the cow eats, and if she's got the potential to produce the milk, she will. So a cow that's just had her calf, maybe with the first two to three months after she calved, that's where your best production time is. And you want her to eat as much as she can of high protein feeds and a balanced diet, and she will produce the milk. Now we could spend all kinds of time tuning up these cows and get them looking like they're all ready to go to the fair, but let's face it, most of that doesn't really make that much difference. Just what I did here is probably about 80% 80, 80 of what makes her feel better. And you notice how skinny her tail is. And my dad always used to say that those are better milking cows. Long, thin tail would kind of represent more of a dairy some of the Holsteins will have these big, thick tails and these huge tail heads. Typically, they were kind of built a little more like a beef cow then. It's not a bad thing. It's just not necessarily a good milking cow. Maybe she breeds better. Maybe she has bigger calves. Summer months, we don't do any of this stuff. You'd look at them after grazing, you'd think there's nothing to pull them off. They're just shiny, They're just nice. It's the difference between being inside, away from all the weather, and being out in the wind and the rains.
All right, so that's it for today. It turned out to be a pretty productive day. We wanted to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos. We'll see you next time.